Antivirus rescue disks are one of the most powerful ways to rid your computer of viruses that are dug in despite your antivirus program. Some viruses even resist scanning in safe mode with other programs such as Malwarebytes. The problem is that these viruses are so far into your hard drive that your computer system and antivirus can't recognize them as such or that the virus has a an active method to defeat your scans or attempts to disinfect. One powerful strategy to defeat these viruses is to take the hard drive out of the picture altogether by booting and running your computer from an optical disk or other removable media. The hard drive is no longer active in running the computer so the temporary operating system can scan and delete the inactive viruses. One that I found easy to use is the Bitdefender Rescue Disk. First, download and burn the Bitdefender Rescue Disk with an uninfected computer. Or, if your computer is still able to, you can try downloading and burning with it. Use your favorite search engine. If you use more than one, maybe we'll avoid having to deal with a monopoly and search providers. Type in Bitdefender Rescue Disk and choose how to create a Bitdefender Rescue CD, Bitdefender Antivirus. Mouse over to the red highlighted here to download the ISO file. Make sure you save it to where you can find it. Here's the disk image or ISO file that we will now burn to disk. Place your blank CD or DVD in the uninfected computer. You can do this at the library in one of their computers if you don't have another one at home or you can't use it. Autoplay pops up in a window with the choice to burn the disk using Windows Explorer. If you take this route, be sure to delete the window INI file that Windows Explorer puts there automatically. If you don't, it won't be a boot disk. Make sure that the only file you burn to the disk is the ISO file. We won't take this route, so close the window. Go to where your Bitdefender ISO file is and left mouse click on it one time only so it highlights. Then right mouse click on the highlight for a menu and left mouse click Burn Disk Image. The Windows Disk Image Burner pops up. It automatically chooses your optical drive. If you have more than one, pick the one with the blank disk. Check the verify box and then click burn. Wait some minutes for the disk to burn and verify. When done, eject the disk if it doesn't automatically do so. Place the Bitdefender rescue disk in the infected computer. Ignore any autoplay windows as we'll be booting up in a moment. If your computer usually connects wirelessly, you have to connect to the internet with an ethernet cable. Wireless will not work. Plug the other end of the Ethernet cable into the back of your cable modem, router, or switch. If you're using the network Ethernet socket at the library, make sure you're logged onto their network before you restart reboot your machine. Make sure your computer doesn't fall asleep during the scan. Go to your Control Panel, Systems and Security, Power Options, and make sure your power plan doesn't allow the computer to sleep. Be sure to change this back to normal after you've scanned. Your computer must be set so that it first tries to boot up the computer from the optical disk. If your computer ignores the disk and boots straight to the operating system like normal, you need to change the settings in your computer's BIOS. This is what my BIOS screen looks like. Along the bottom are the keys to push to get into the BIOS. You'll have to determine how to get into the BIOS for your own computer and what to do when you get there yourself. Maybe watch another tutorial that explains it. Those steps are beyond the scope of this tutorial. If you see this screen, you've successfully booted with the Bitdefender Rescue Disk. Note the countdown. You have to use the up and down arrows and enter keys to choose a language before it times out. If not, it's back to Windows. You'll have to restart your computer and try again. If you see this screen you chose in time, there are advanced settings that we will not explore. Click Continue for the automated process. Bitdefender updates its virus definitions through the wired connection. Because the update takes some minutes, I left my machine. When I came back, Bitdefender was already scanning. I do not know if the program pauses for input before starting the scan. Expect the scan to take some hours. When it finishes, it presents the results. I have one Trojan virus on my machine. Mouse over to the menus on the right that currently read Take No Action. Open and choose one of the alternatives. I chose disinfect for both the top and the bottom menus. If you have a number of viruses, the top menu should set the choice for all. Choose 
fix issues to take the actions you specified. Bitdefender now states all issues have been successfully resolved. Click on Done. Mouse over to click on Quit. Choose Restart or Shut Down to end Bitdefender. Bitdefender shuts down and issues its last instruction. Please remove the disk and close the tray, if any, then press Enter. I recommend a follow-up safe mode scan with your native antivirus and even malware bytes. The idea is you've disinfected the blocking viruses and now your computer should be able to clean itself. This is the most powerful antivirus scanning technique short of pulling the hard drive and attaching it into another computer and scanning from that computer. In the future, be careful not to install foistware or third-party or additional unintended software when you're installing that great freeware onto your computer. The install screens can be a shell game, and if you lose, it's maybe even back to the antivirus rescue disk. Another thing that will cause you problems is looking for U.S. copyrighted pay-for content for free. If you do find it, it will be in a risky overseas website, and especially if they want you to install some kind of special player, and then you'll be in big trouble because you put it there, you installed it, you sandbagged your own antivirus systems, and it'll bring along all its bits friends. I've seen a client do this over and over and over and over again. So, learn from your mistakes, think before you do, and be safe.